This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha! How you doing? Gordo the Techs are here. Welcome to another exciting and thrilling off the scale episode of Hibachi Talk. <laughs> off the <laughs> scale. Off the scale. New taglines every week. Uh, so we've got my buddy, the Rick's the Funmeister here. Hey, Gordo. Nice to see you, sir. And we got Thank Sam you. Moku. Sam Moku and I go back a long way. He's Aloha. The, uh, Aloha. Nice Aloha. to see you, buddy. Great to be here. Um, you go back. Um, I think I met you when you were doing a lot of work with Special Olympics. Yes, Special you, Olympics. You were, you were so 24 much, years. So much involved with Special Olympics. Uh, now you're the acting athletic director at Hawaii Pacific University. Um, we worked together in uh, government for a while. Yep. And then we got smart. And then we got smart. <laughs> <laughs> so like all three of us got out. So grab a chair, pull up a libation. How about pull up a chair and grab a libation or whatever. Oh, what, and sit yeah. and join us. We're going to talk about HPU. Um, Hawaii Pacific University mm -hmm. alumni. Yes. Um, he went to, uh, what was it? I, I went to a different university. Yeah, what was it called again? Some, some, someplace in California. Yeah, it was. The University of California at Berkeley. At Berkeley, oh, that's right. Berkeley. Oh, yeah, excuse yeah. me. Anyway, he went the to... The Golden Bears. Yeah, are you a Theta? <laughs> <laughs> My mother was a Theta. My sister was a Theta. I myself was not. Oh, okay, just checking. <laughs> anyway, we're going to talk about university, Hawaii, Hawaii Pacific Terrific. University. We're going to talk about the show that we did a couple of weeks ago about the, the, this idea we have about this intercollegiate or intrastate um, baseball weekend. Right. And especially after Hawaii winning the, the Little League World Series, I mean, we are a baseball town. Oh, There's yeah. just no question yeah. about yeah. it. No question. And what we can what we can do in there. But first, let's get a little background on yourself. Like, where did you grow up? Where did you go to school? Um, well, I'm a local boy, born and raised here, live in Kaneohe, and I graduated from uh, Damien Memorial High School. Ooh, yeah. right. I ended up going off mm -hmm. to the University of Hawaii, uh, played football there under the Dick Tomey regime. Wow. As the defensive hey, they won guy. this past weekend. And they won. Did oh, exciting, that exciting. Uh, so um, I, I moved over to HPU in uh, 2013 okay. after I left the city. Um, and here I am today, you know, overseeing the athletic program. Right, and you got, there's a lot going on. I mean, you guys have done, I think it was one of the best things you ever did was taking over Aloha Tower. Yes. And turning that, and, and it was a high risk, big investment. High risk, big investment. Big investment, yeah. but I yeah. think it was extremely uh, visionary. Um, I think in the long run, when the rail comes through, it's going to pay off even more. Yes. Um, so let's talk a little bit about, about HPU because it. I mean, I'm an alumni. I went there and got my my degrees from there. Um, how's it looking this year? How's it? You just started. Yeah, we just started our uh, school year on Monday. All of our students and parents who were here last week during the kind of the hurricane season, which nothing really <laughs> yeah. happened, but um, our students started this week. Um, we have a lot of exciting things going on right now, especially at Aloha Tower. We just opened up our new student dining uh, facility, which is called Pier 9 by Sam Choi, uh, which is in the old um, Don Ho space. Oh, right down there, there on the go. ground floor. Right, right on the ground floor. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, Sam Choi partnered with us. He's going to be creating the menu, but it's actually going to, it's not just for our students, but next month in September, it'll be open up to the public to enjoy his... Uh, menu That's items great. and cuisine wow. so yeah we're gonna we're gonna welcome everybody and we're excited the students are currently using the facility for their meal plan right uh and so um the president and i went down there the other day to kind of test out the, the the food what they had ready and excellent good, excellent huh? well yeah. sam, okay it's got sam yeah. Choi involved it's got you know, this is kind of cool because um again you're revitalizing um, yep. The Aloha Tower, Aloha Tower, which languished forever. Oh, ever. And um, now you've got, now this is an innovative idea. Yes, very innovative. And, you know, it, 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 it's, you know, it's a part of kind of providing that community, uh, that, that kind of mix of the public with our students engaged in a downtown campus, especially on the waterfront. Um, and so Spaghetti Factory is there. Right. They just yeah. opened up, They've which is opened. huge for us. Yeah. Yep. Um, in Gordon Beers, your tried and true is still Been there. there forever. Over there. And on the second floor, we have our dorms. And then we just completed on the third floor, where actually my office used to be, another set of 75 more beds for our students. Wow. So that's got, we're over 300 beds. Was over, wow. That's over 300 beds. Yep, yep. So a residential great. campus that has classrooms and, you know, 
everything. And, and there. it has class. I will. I have to say, as I walk through there, because I'm I'm a frequenter of many of the establishments over there, which will be <laughs> the new one I will be going to as well. But you know, it's just it's it, the the whole place is just getting a whole air of class yeah, again. It's yeah. just coming yeah. back to what it it yeah. originally I thought was going to be. It, it, it's taken us some time. You know, we 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 first uh, took over Low Tower in 2014. Yeah. So. It took a, a lot of planning, a lot of partnerships to you know work together to bring you know we're trying to get critical mass down there as we you know as we move forward, uh, but we're pretty much I would say about ninety percent full with as far as tenants and you know oh, spaces. Oh, sorry, the tenants and the spaces and the Lord? spaces utilized. Yeah. I thought about yeah, opening up a little um, little uh, 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 <laughs> key <laughs> online and, and coffee sampling kind of sampling, <laughs> sampling <laughs> down there. Yeah, yeah. Retire and yeah. just sit in there. Well, so, now, will that work? I mean, with the uh, with the new uh, what restaurant down there, or the uh, buffet and all, will that work? With so students, well, I mean, they'll go there and eat there certainly, right. but will they also utilize that as part of the training uh, and the uh, education from HPU as well? Uh, yes. So you know. I think the one at first one of the important parts of having those restaurants there is a lot of the, our our current restaurant uh, tenants uh, use our students to work. Exactly, there it's a go. job. Yeah. It's you How know, it's that? a job yeah. to help pay for bills or their schooling. Right. So that's that's the first thing. And no bus or transportation to get no. there. You no. walk. I mean, walk you just, right downstairs. Yeah. 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 So that works. So great that for you. that's great. And then um, a lot of our students in the College of Business are learning firsthand about how to run. You know, a business like mm -hmm. a restaurant. Right. So, um, I think it's 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 great. Um, at the same setting, you have the harbors, which is you know are bringing active, in yeah. are active. You got the Coast Guard coming in. You got cruise ships coming in. The College of Business wants to engage with the cruise ship industry, teach our students about the industry itself. Right. I mean, it all goes hand right. in hand. And what a great right. learning environment. You got the ocean. We have Oceanic Institute. We have a great marine science program. I've been which on is, your boat. It's awesome. Uh -huh. Our marine science program is the number one program that all of the students uh, want to get into now. Yeah. And so, I mean, it's just a perfect symbiotic relationship. Yeah. yeah. It really, it really is. Yes. And I you know I only oh to be eighteen again. <laughs> right? Just to, to be able to have this kind of an opportunity to be. Not like the stuffed away in some yeah. classroom somewhere, but some active classroom with all the things yeah. happening on yeah. around me. Yeah, yeah. So that's cool. So now you're you're the acting athletic director now. Mm -hmm. So you got a lot of stuff happening on, in the athletic side. Yep. And so we have this idea we'll talk about it in the second half of the show. But what's happening on the, in the athletics? What's, what's what do you what are we so, looking forward to this year? So this year our season is just starting. Um, women's volleyball just started. Uh, they had a big uh, uh, um, a meet. Uh, volleyball tournament in Hilo this past weekend. They only got to go, get through one set of games. Uh, a little wet. Yeah, yeah, a little wet. I was there. Cross country is starting, men's and women's cross country, and our men's and women's soccer is starting this week. So there's uh, matches, or there's matches on uh, Friday, and then Saturday is cross country and soccer. So, yeah. so I think you're playing like is it Holy Cross or something is coming. Holy names. Holy names. Holy names. Okay, so so, no. so, here, yeah. so my wife went in Holy Oakland, names. California. Holy names. My wife went there her freshman year. No way. Yeah. yeah. So they're, oh, they're we're gonna go they're, there. They're coming in. Holy names is coming in, and their new coach, volleyball coach. Um, his I know his mother really well. When he, when, oh my when, gosh! When, small when, world. when he was conceived, I remember when that. Oh was, my he was God. Growing up, And now he's got like a couple of master's degrees from Holy Name, and he's their new um, volleyball coach, no and he's going to be coming in for this game. So it's kind of a cool thing. Is this right? his first year? Yeah, first year. Oh my gosh! So this is this is this is chicken stand. Yeah, yeah, stuff, yeah, right? yeah. Local families kind of all coming together and and meet like wow, that. Oh, that's terrific. Well, your wife went to Holy Name. Yes, she did. <laughs> oh my goodness, so she did. Good. We'll be there. So, so I'm that's sorry, awesome. she probably won't be rooting for HPU. Yeah, that's okay. That's you okay. You know, we understand. actually, she may root for both well, because we, that's kind of the way she is. Oh. So yeah. where so where are you playing the games? Uh, the Holy Names game is going to be in Oakland. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so probably is it going to be televised? Uh, no, not no, televised. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you know, cross country is out in Kahuku on Saturday, and um, our soccer games will be out in White Peel. In White Peel. Yeah, wow. yeah. So you got you have you have a lot of great stuff that goes oh, on yeah. from the athletic yeah. stuff, from yeah. the, 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 all the different academic programs and the technology programs that that I was involved with. Yep. So it's it's fascinating. 
So, okay, so with all of this, um, we're going to take a break in a few minutes, but what's kind of the biggest challenges you're up with now? What's your enrollment like? So how many local students, that was my question, was, how many local students are going to HBU and of the total number of students going? So this recruitment class that we brought in for the local students, we increased it 60% this year. Oh. So, you know, you're wow. talking about, you know, from 40 to like 100 some odd more stu local students. We made a very... Uh, intentional effort this this year, this past year of recruiting more local students. So mm. we're very happy with it, bringing back our local students and bringing that up to where it needs to be. Um, our total enrollment for undergraduates is hovering at about 3,500. Okay. Um, the breakdown international is about 30 percent. Mainland is hovering at about 45 percent, and then the rest is local. The rest is local. Yeah. Yeah. You see, this is another good thing. That's why I enjoyed it so much when yeah. I went there, and I was a adult student but everybody was from all over the place oh yeah yeah i mean yeah. and yeah. all different work backgrounds and yeah. grew up in different cultures and and had different perspectives yep. than just the american way of doing things and so on which made it such a great way to yep. learn from a global perspective and that's the comment we get back from a lot of our alumni when we go and have you know we, john and i have gone cross country to go visit uh, our alum and that that is the number one thing they talk about the diversity in the classroom about the different perspectives yep. and they say by far hbu has been the most diverse university yeah because you don't that's you know great. you just sit in there and you just just don't yeah. realize that that in in korea or japan or switzerland, switzerland or, yeah. or denmark, denmark or wherever yeah, yeah. all your students are coming from that well those businesses are are set up, established, and are run in these ways. Yes, yeah. yes. As opposed to what we're just thinking of, like here. Right. Yep, yep. So it's kind of it's a very cool thing. And our athletic department, right. our athletes are also so diverse. Yes, right. You know, yeah. we got a lot of baseball, softball that are local, and basketball. Then you got basketball. You we got, got some of the mix. tallest basketball players I've oh ever seen God. in my life. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize that Europeans got that tall. They got tall, and <laughs> they, they got long, long arm spans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I see them. Yeah, you know, I see them downtown, right at Starbucks, or you know, walking around yeah, and having yeah, you know, yeah. down and um, and, and enjoy having that conversation with them and so on. And they very highly competitive. Oh, very, yeah, very competitive. And um, they 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 have the win in them. They want to win. They definitely yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely do. All right, this is cool. So anyway, we're gonna we're gonna take a break. Yes. And pay a couple of bills, then we'll come back and we'll talk about this concept that we threw up, like a ball, um, a couple of weeks ago Two about weeks? this yeah. intercollegiate intrastate um, baseball, baseball tournament. All right. Like so Gordo the Texar, Rick Stefan Meister, Sam Moku from HPU, if you didn't already figure that out. And we'll be back in about a minute. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. Match day is no ordinary day. The pitch, hallowed ground for players and supporters alike. Excitement builds. Game plans are made with responsibility in mind. Celebrations are underway. Ready for kickoff. MLS clubs and our supporters rise to the challenge. We make responsible decisions while we cheer on our heroes and toast their success. Elevate your match day experience. If you drink, never drive. That's you. I want to know, will you watch my show? I hope you do. It's on Tuesdays at 1 o'clock, and it's out of the comfort zone, and I'll be your host, R.B. Kelly. See you there. I mean, look, you eat basketball. Aloha. How you doing? We're, we're getting into this. <laughs> <laughs> we're already at it. Uh, go to the tech star. Welcome back to Ibashi Talk. Uh, we've got Rickson and, and Sam Moku, and um, we're going to discuss this concept that we're having about a... Um, Intercollegiate, you came up with the term last last time we were on the show. Uh, intercollegiate baseball event. I'm going to call it a baseball event, or uh, um, yeah. rather than than just baseball game or uh, um, some weekend, you know, pre or post the season, mm -hmm. um, where we can bring the universities together. And, and the thought that the thought that we've been discussing is one I like. You know, University of Hawaii, Hawaii Pacific University, University of Hilo, Hawaii, Hilo. Yeah. But then mm -hmm. I went, what about one from one school from the mainland. So I just kind of like, okay, grab a well, holy name. <laughs> no, not holy. I was thinking, you know, maybe we get the Little League, cha you know, <laughs> World <laughs> Championship there too. Get the Little League World you Champions know? to come in and, and do whatever. But I, I you know, we, we had mentioned that there's, you know, we lost the Pro Bowl 
you know, yeah. there, there's not there's not much I think that goes on. We have the you know, we have obviously high school football and things that happen in that space. But that brings the community together with kind of a fun rivalries, yeah. tongue in cheek kind yep. of thing. Yep. That we could we could do this. I um, so I think I think it would be would be fun. So you you're actually one of the ones that's kind of been pushing this a little bit. So what what have you what have you got so far? And I'll tell you what I've got so far. And so you know. Um, uh, it, it's it's incumbent upon me to kind of meet with Dave Matlin. You know, we okay. got to discuss the That's whole the thing. And, and yep, and Dave, uh, I think is you, it, we haven't met yet, but you know, I'm pushing hard. But I think amongst the HPU and even with the UH Hilo, especially if UH Hilo comes in strong, yeah. I mean, I think we could put this together. Yeah. You know, we will have to look at some of the NC2A rules that kind of guide us in this area. Right. And, but I think it's, it is possible because we, we've we already competed, HPU has competed against uh, Manoa in basketball. basketball. In basketball. Yeah. So, so there's got to be ways. In volleyball. Yeah. Yes. You guys yeah. you know, used to play in volleyball, yep. those kinds of and, things. And I think yeah. it's, it's great because you have, you know, the local kids on all of the teams, right. right? And then you got parents who, a lot of them live here on the island or will fly in, you know, if yep. they live on the big yeah. island. And then, you know, you kind of mentioned it, you know, you got the UH Hilo group, you got the Shamana, I mean, the Sharks group, the HPU group, and then you got the Manoa group, you know, yeah. Yeah. all there in one venue and, you know, probably never met any, you know, never met each other before. And right. they're just like having fun. And having, and having yeah. a, as a weekend, yeah, like a, a, I, my thought it's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah. kind of a round robin kind of thing. My thought was like, and, and, but you bring the, the women's softball teams in, yeah. right? So, there, so you, you'll have a team out there that will be yeah. a mix of males and females yeah. that are, that with, the, with a baseball theme. Yeah. Um, for a for a, and we can get alumni to come back. Who knows? Coaches sure. have coaches play. Whatever, yeah. whatever that will that will make NC two A happy, comfortable yeah. with it. <laughs> yeah. That this cannot be used as a measurement stick for right, anything. Right. Um, and and use it as a as a way to to raise money for the universities. Yep. My th my thought is like you know the the monies that get raised would go to to the individual universities, their athletic departments, or wherever yeah. scholarship yeah. funds or whatever. Um, but turn it into an annual event and get sponsors. Yep, exactly. Hawaiian Airlines. Yeah. Hawaii, yeah, especially for the neighbor island folks, to, if they can, if Hawaiian Airs can, yeah, can bring help them out in. On that. Yeah, yeah. We, we get a team from the West Coast who's interested in coming and being part yeah. of this, part, being part of this event. Um, and, and and I think you know, if we get it started, it becomes a tradition. Yes. Yeah. All of the local people can gather yeah. around. Yes and enjoy seeing their son or even, you know, their daughter, you know, in, in some event at all together with all the Hawaii schools. Yeah. And then we get to, they get to meet each other, like you said earlier, they get to meet each yeah. other, they get to, and if we get, you know, depending on how, how we can plan this thing and get it together, um, in my mind's going to be like, oh, if we could be pre the Major League Baseball season and we get some mm -hmm. of the locals like Colton Wong, who's a very strong contributor to things that yes. happen in this state. Yes. Yeah. Um, who would be willing to you know be part of what was happening here yeah. you know, before football season? I you know it's not, but you know the local Marcus Mariota, you know all the right. different players right. that we could get. Oh, that was a nice point. All the different players <laughs> we could get that could come out and, and and also be part of that event. Yes, right. Yeah, and and and, and you know it, it it takes many to put this together, yeah. and so you know with your help and yeah. you know this program and starting the dis getting the discussion going, I think uh -huh. is. Is yeah, if you can if you can get Marcus Mariota, you know, then so, you you can probably get Island Insurance. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but, but, see, but see, we're just thinking, we just yeah. think this through. Shane right? Victorino. Shane Victorino. He's yeah. retired. He's retired. See, yeah. so yeah, so we we've got all the we've got we've got a number of retired yeah. athletes as well. And so I mean, and again, my goal is I want a, a community event that everybody just rallies around, right? Just. Yep. rallies around and it's a family community event yep. right yep. you've got you know the the kids the little league baseball teams are going to come out yep. you know the the families are going to come the alumni are going to come out oh and yep. i can just imagine the stories on t tv or oh, whatever yeah. the sound bites yep. from people oh, saying yeah, the like, me me doing a sound bite with <laughs> uh right i went hpu not uh yep. so yeah. and david lazar and i go back a long way both it guys and he's now the president of the school. I, I saw him on Wednesday, and and you plugged it. And you plugged, plugged it. it. Plugged it. And he's like, <laughs> you went NCAA, NCAA. I went, Dave, we'll work it out. We'll, we'll work, work it out. out. <laughs> yeah. So, but uh, there must be a way around it because you know there's the Christmas tournament with the you know UH and the basketball, yeah. you know those sorts of things. Maybe yeah. this is a little bit closer. The to scheduling home, will yeah. be probably the really yeah. key 
key part of where we where the game is placed. Yeah, and, and, I would like yeah. it at Les Murakami because yes. that, that location is by far one of the nicest. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. Here it accommodates up four four thousand plus people or whatever. Yeah. Parking. It, and parking and is great. Yeah. Uh, it, if, if if it was decided to televise any of these, Don Olello or or yeah. or Think Tech. Or whatever. Oh, there's a the Think Tech Sports Channel. Hey. Oh, I like that. I hey, like I like that. that. Oh, wait. We, let's you and I talk about this yeah, for HBO yeah, and the yeah. Think Tech Sports Think Channel. Think Tech Sports Channel. Oh, I've been wanting to change the theme of this show for a while. So, um, but yeah, if we if we were able to do something like that, um, and again, people will be coming out and, and just I think really having a great time. Yeah. Food competition too. I thought. There yes. you go. Every 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 university it probably has their very unique type of food that they would like to introduce into right. this. So. Yeah. I think that would be a great idea. Yeah, if you yeah. can see the Mur Murakami Stadium, right? We could have a, I'm just making it up, right? like a chili cook-off or something, yeah, whatever, yeah, right? Yeah, but yeah, just make yeah. that part of what was going on for this whole weekend event. So Friday would have, nights would have this thing, and then Saturday would do these right. things. Then Sunday would be this day yeah. as we close out the event and yeah. so on. Get the culinary schools in there, a little, you know, this 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 will this will competition put the school Punahou Carnival off to the side and you know this move it. <laughs> <laughs> there you might know, be a carnival yeah, yeah, next door. You never know. You see, never see, know. You, a, you, you keep on know. adding. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh wait, I can see E. Fernandez going. Hey, wait a minute. We got something we might want to yeah. be part of. Right. Right. Be part of this whole thing. Again, turn, again, turn it into the, a, um, a real local family style event. Do we even do the farm fair anymore? Yes, the farm fair is at the stadium. It's at the stadium. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Once a year. Once yeah, a year. Yeah, yeah. So, um, obviously, I've been going a lot. <laughs> you know, I, I, and I and I really believe, you know, this is kind of the the time where all the universities are at. You know, all three of us, and even Shamana, eventually, should we we should have something that brings us yes. all together yeah. on the island because I mean. Everybody's doing their own thing. Yeah. You know, I mean, yes, UH is the big brother, and then you know you got the Division Two schools, but hey, let's let's bring everybody together once a year. It's coopetition. Yeah. 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 Coopetition. Co it is right. Yeah. yeah. It really is because yeah. you know you're all, everybody's competing for the students. Yeah. I mean that's it's, it's, that's obvious, yeah. but we still are this local right. community. Yeah. And so if the ILH and the OIA can come back together for yeah. football. Yeah. Why can't the universities do the same? They do the same thing yeah. again yeah. for all of us. Yeah. It'd be just it'd be a trip. <laughs> but I think you know. I think the great thing about this is that it's both the public schools and the private schools coming together. Yes. And so that could also be something that goes down to the uh, you know the high schools as well, mm -hmm. the private and the public coming together because there's a lot of competition between yep. those guys. Yep. Yep. Definitely, tons. Oh, yeah. Tons. Yeah, I can see, you know, you know, like, tours of the various campuses or, mm -hmm. you know, different events that could, could go on, the yeah. rallies that would happen with the students, and and uh, I, I can just see a, just a ton of fun happening yeah. with all this thing. So <laughs> we're, 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 we're right here, right here, this group right here, we're the ones <laughs> yeah, that's th getting yeah, this, it I mean, started. We're the ones, we're the yeah. ones that, are, that are trying to get this thing started, and so those of you that are watching this show, and we're going to we'll keep pushing this out and get more people behind it, yeah. um, we're going to see if we can get a, a rallying cry. Um, critical mass. A critical mass, there yeah, you to, to get this but thing it, We might need a sign-waving campaign. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and you're only saying that because we're experiencing <laughs> right anyway. the pre-November <laughs> sign-waving yeah, yeah, yeah. campaign. Maybe, right, oh, maybe <laughs> November 3rd? I can, yeah, yeah, November 3rd. Put it on the ballot. Yeah, H-P-U-U-H. <laughs> and then and we, they're going like, what the heck is this? Yeah. <laughs> There's no law against us doing a sign waving campaign no, for something we, like we this. We can, yeah. Right? Yeah, there isn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we we have to come up with a tagline like we want this, right? So that everybody starts chanting exactly, it. Exactly. You know, exactly. Well, speaking of taglines, um, so when, this when, is your new shirt, right? This is our new logo shirt. Okay. Um, the logo shirt was created by Zig Zane. Uh, he came in and spent almost six, eight months to wow. put this creation of his his mana'o mm -hmm. into this logo. It's a pretty cool shirt. Um, and it's, uh, it's kind of based off of Mauka to Makai from the Nu'uwanu uh, Pali Mountains all right. the way to where we are located at Loata where the water runs out okay. into the harbor. Right, right. So uh, it has in, it, the significance. There's, some, there's our Hawaiian values, which represent these three lines that or the three lines, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Aloha Pono Kuleana. The individual kind of design here that he replicated is actually a leaf 
uh, called the llama leaf, okay. uh, which is uh, the llama leaf, the llama tree was used back in the ancient Hawaiian days of an enlightenment or learning area where the native Hawaiians used to gather under the llama trees. So he used the, the veins of the, the, the leaf oh, to nice. kind of create this pattern. Um, wow. Yeah. It's so, cool. And I just got this today. So yep. this is re I'm really happy for this. And the diamonds right here in the middle, this is the teacher, the kumu, and this is the student. Ah. So. Wow. Together. Yep. Yep. And there's more meanings to it, but, you know, I, I the, don't want to do it uh, disjustice. It's, it's on a, um, it's yeah. like on a, a legal pad, like goes for this long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's actually in the back of your shirt. It's, it's in inside. the back of the yeah, shirt? Okay, yeah, in the insert. Yeah. yeah, if I had had this earlier, I would have taken it and put it on a, as a picture and and had it up as yeah. a slide, but I'll, we'll work on that. So Zig is actually creating us some uh, Aloha shirts. Oh, awesome. He's oh, making cool. us some Aloha shirts and... For the males and then for the, the females, he's making a beautiful scarf. Uh, so we're starting to replicate it. Along 4th Street Mall, you'll see some of our banners with the yeah. logo okay. and Aloha Tower. We have the logo. When's the Aloha so, shirt coming out? Soon. Is it I'll got green you know. in it? Or I'll just let you know. He's yeah. got some awesome designs. Okay, yeah, let me know because definitely we're, uh, we're down for the Aloha yeah, shirt. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah. Definitely beautiful down for the Aloha shirt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that's, mm -hmm. instead of me wearing my HPU with my little crest on the side, now I've got a little bit more styling. Yeah. I have a sharky. I gotta, somewhere in storage, I have a shark. Do you need another one? One of my students gave it to me. <laughs> oh, the, uh, the sharky? Yeah. Oh. I got a, I got a sharky. Someone gave it to me when oh I was gosh. teaching at HPU. So not only was I a student at HPU, I taught at HPU. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you didn't pay much, but that was all right. <laughs> <laughs> I had so, again, I had so much fun because I had all this mix of students from across the country. And, and that's how brave HPU is. To let let me teach. One we, took it, <laughs> we took a chance on going there. He did, he did. He was great. He did a great job. Yeah, a number of years, too. Um, anyway, so this, Sam, it's been great having you on the show. Thank we you a, very we, much. I'd like Thank to do it. I'd Thank like to really you, get Sam. into a, a, do an HPU update. Okay. But also, let's talk about this HPU sports broadcasting idea on the web. Are you, so are you, are you doing broadcasting live on the web or anything? So now? we have we, we, we can stream. We have okay. a streaming. Uh, I'm not sure who we're using, yeah. but I can definitely connect you with our our media guy. Uh, and then we can maybe we can start from there and see let, how let, we let's, can let's talk about this. I can together. see you and I as the announcers. <laughs> no, definitely. Yeah, that'd be awesome. And we'll bring in guest announcers yeah. like, like Kimo Leahi as Jim Leahi. There you go. <laughs> or, bring in Kanoa first. Kanoa. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kanoa. 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 Bring in Kanoa. Could, yeah. you know. Oh, bring in Kanoa would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, we haven't signed it yet, but every one of our guests gets an autograph solo cup. Thank you. So I've got to grab one of the, one of the Sharpies. Nothing like the red cup. Yeah, it's exactly right. <laughs> so you know, don't be selling this on eBay either. Of <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot, man. It's been terrific having Thank you here. Thank you, Gordo. We'll be back. Good to see we'll you. Have, Thank we'll you. We'll be back yeah. talking about um, this uh, intercollegiate um, athletic event. Yes. Uh, hopefully we'll get one off the ground within one or two years. All right. That's how long it takes here. And like we say at the end of every show, and I never queued you up on this, but that's okay. okay. One, two, three. How, how are you, you doing? doing?